Hello everyone. In this episode, we will explore Microsoft Power BI Copilot. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So basically, we will ask Microsoft Power BI Copilot to generate a report for me. So we will request a Microsoft Power BI Copilot to generate a report for me. So here you can see the blank Power BI page, and I have just imported a data table as you can see here. I will show you the data also. So this is the sales data. And here you can see the region, column, country, customer, business segment, category, model, color, sales date, list price, unit price, order quantity, total sales. So I'll take a help from Microsoft Power BI Copilot to generate a report for me. And here you can see the option, Copilot option. Just you have to click on the Copilot. And here you will see three options. Create a new report page. Suggest content for a new report page. Answer this data question. So we will see each one, one by one. So first we'll use a create a new report page. So I'll click here and here you can see working on it. And what actually Copilot did it fetch all the column from the data table. So these are the column in the data table with the data type and display. And here it is asking to create a new report page. I recommend focusing on the following key matrix and dimension. So total sales, order quantity, unit price, and list price. And here again, it is asking, would you like to focus on any specific matrix or dimension from the list table? Let me know if you have any specific requirement. So I don't have any specific requirement. I want Copilot to generate a report for me. So I'll go up and again, I will click on create a new report page. So now it is working on it. So let me minimize. So here you can see the one page report is created. And on the top, you can see the Power BI logo, and this is the report name, report page name, sales and order analysis. And here you can also, the page name, you can see the sales and order analysis. And here you can see total sales, 81.03 million, and order quantity, 215K, total order quantity, and the first region, total sales over time. So you can see the monthly trend, sales trend here. And this visual is about total sales by region. So you can see the region wise total sales. The below visual, total sales by category. So these are the category road bikes, mountain bikes, and so on. And this is order quantity, total order quantity over time. So you can see the line chart. And the last visual, order quantity by country. So this you can see the country wise total sales. Now the one page report is created. Now I will again click on the co-palette. And now we'll go to the next option. Suggest content, content for a new report page. So I'll click here. So here you can see the suggested content. So region sales performance, country by sales analysis, customer purchase trend, business segment insight. So I will just click here, the country by sales analysis, and I will click on carry it. So again, it is working on it. So now you can see again the one page is created sales data tree. So here you can see the total sales and this is monthly trend by total sales and in the below graph you can see total sales by country. So these are the country and the total sales. And here you can see the table visual where you can see the total sales and the unit price and country. So this is the sales data by country. Now let me create one more page 
from the suggested one. Um, like I say the business segment wise, send security. So another page will be added. So sales analysis by business segment. Again, you can see the total sales trend and this is common and the total sales here. And now here there is a difference, the total sales by business segment. So these are the business segment and you can see the tabular format. So the business segment list price and total sales. So this is the list price and this is the total sales. Now we'll again go back to Copilot and we'll ask some question. So last option, answer this question. So I'll say, compare, compare, Compare list price and unit price. So I'll click OK and we'll see working on it. So here you can see the total list price and sum of unit price if you want to add to some page you can add it here like you know now i have added this one and i can minimize and i can place it here somewhere here you can place it actually so this is the question and answer session now we'll ask a one more question so we'll say Carried a column chart to compare list price, list price and and unit price by country we'll correct the spelling of price price by country and legend will be region region so let me zoom in this is not so much so zoom is not available for this let me correct the price spelling price by country so create a column chart to compare the list price and unit price by country and legend will be region. So let me hit the enter button and we'll see. So new page is created as you can see the price comparison by country and region. So again, you can see the total sales, total list sum of total list price. And here you can see list price by country and region. Region is there. So United States, the North America, this is North America, this is Canada. And this is the like, you know, you can see the legend here. So, and for the unit price also, the similar view. So United States, Canada. So this two belongs to the North America region and this this united kingdom france and germany belongs to europe and australia belongs to pacific so this report has been created 
this page has been created. So that's all for this video and I request you to please subscribe my channel.